everybody knows. Okay, we're recording. Thanks, Kathleen. Okay. Yeah, so I know I understand that Johnny has sent out some options on with regards to Facebook pages and um, and then I understand that there may have already been one developed by the commission. So the commission can certainly have your own Facebook page that you manage fully. But with that said, um, the commission then is going to assume any liability with that since county staff is not an active participant or manager of that site. And that would include anything from retention, retention um, of documents uh, for public records and within the retention guidelines, as well as OPMA rules. Right. Um, if you're doing anything with OPMA and if you're following it, great. But if there's a hiccup, that's going to be on the commission and not um, under the county. So we'll be drafting some language to send to the commission so that you all understand that liability and risk that you will be assuming if you want to do that. If you wanted to use a county website, then we would manage that from the county. Um, it would have to definitely be non-political and just putting out facts and we're more than happy to do that as well. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt for a second, a point of order. Um, I think we have somebody in the waiting room right now. I just got a text from uh, from Terry. Maybe she has the wrong. Hmm. I didn't have a waiting room. I'm sorry to interrupt. But... I don't have a waiting room. I don't think <laughs> so. I don't think that WebEx has a waiting room. Maybe she had a, a wrong link. Um, sorry, I'll. I'll okay, I'm know. sorry. Go ahead, Kathleen. No, I think that um, unless there's questions, I think I that was a summary. Um, and of course, Chris, if I missed anything, uh, let please let me know. But I I just want to make sure you know that you all know. You know what you can certainly do it, but there, there is a liability that comes with that and a responsibility that comes with that. And we're more than happy to, and we will be sending an email to all of you to make sure that we understand that distinction. Right. Yeah, a couple, a couple more, um, items to think about Kathleen covered stuff like OPMA and public records retention, which is a, a big 1, um, 1st amendment issues. You know, who knows who is going to post what on the site and perhaps it will all be appropriate. Um, but, you know, there are issues if anybody's going to be hidden or blocked or depending on what they're saying, if they're not hidden or not blocked. Uh, anyway, if. You all are administrators. That is, of course, up to you. Oh, I see Terry on now. And, um, and then also any aspects of election law. And I would also like to stress that if you do your own Facebook, you're not doing it as the Charter Review Commission. And I think you all are aware that you can't use your capacity as a member of elected county government or as a county government body. So again, if you're if you're doing the um, if if you're going to use the county's Facebook and administration services. That's 1 thing. If you're not, you know, basically, we're going to be saying, oh, hands off. We're not touching this or touching that. You know, right. as much as we can. So. Um, honestly, I'm not going to decide for you. I have no of course of doing that and I don't purport to. <laughs> Gotcha. So, um, question is, um, if Terry and Chris go forward with that Facebook page, obviously it doesn't reflect the views of the commission. They've changed the wording on it since then. So if it's private citizens doing their private thing, they're okay. Well, I'm assuming, asking, assuming that 
what they privately do is okay. I mean, I don't think they're going to, you know, threaten to bomb anybody or anything no. like that. But yeah, it's 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 whatever they do. But establishing a Facebook page saying this is by the charter commissioners, that's not kosher. That will get us all in trouble with liability and stuff. So is that correct? You know, I hate to say yes, that will create a liability, but the possibility edges ever closer. Okay. All right. So we can have our own Facebook page, but then we assume liability. If Terry and Chris want to run their own, they can do that. They can't associate it with any of us and, and the commission, nothing, correct? And then they're also going to, I mean, they're doing it as private citizens. So they're not going to have to um, go by OPMA and all of those retention rules, correct? I have a couple of questions and I'm apologize for being late. And um, if they are acting as private citizens, then yeah. what they do is not public record and it it's not subject to public meetings. But if there are 10 of you private citizens as a group working on it together, if I were a judge, I would look at that with Kind of, I'd look at that a little bit uh, carefully. Okay, so what we have then, um, it sounds like really the clear distinction to be made is, so I don't think Terry and I are interested in doing our own thing. We only ever created this as part of the plan that we had in place and what we discussed in our meeting with the communication staff last week. So that's not an intent at all. And I don't think that, uh, I think that, we would also find experience with social media and such that having an additional one would not be helpful on top of having one. So we just haven't had the chance to have this conversation at all yet in the meeting, which I'm glad that we're finally uh, Chris, doing. Before, this before, so that Chris, I have some questions as well. Hey, can I just wrap I'm up? Sorry for sure. being late. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just like to wrap up just just one saying is that we always have the option to choose to have the county supported website where we would do the exact same thing. And the whole point is just to have a central hub of information specifically for the Charter Review Commission. I don't have a problem with that at all. Um, I expect, Terry, you can offer your, quest, your your commentary and questions there as well, too. So it's just a matter of, we just haven't had the conversations yet. So I'm glad that we're doing this now. Cool. Okay, and I, and I apologize for being late. I think I was using the prior, I, I don't know what link I was using, but uh, I couldn't get in. Um, so I have questions about, um, whether or not we can do that as as a committee, and I'm sorry I missed everything that you said, uh, Christine, but um, I know that elected officials do have group Facebook pages. I mean, you, you know, you have you have the Republican Party has a has a has a, and all of the Republican elected officials have a Republican Party page. The Democratic Party. Uh, has a Democratic, you know, the Washington Democratic Party Facebook page as well, and they post to that as well. And it, they are public pages, so as far as anything that's on them, I guess if, um, if anybody sends them a message on that, then that would be public uh, information. But everything on the page is public, and everybody can see it. Um, so I, I guess I'm trying to find a distinct one between Charter review commissioners and other elected officials that have group pages. So um, the Republican Party is one thing, Democratic Party is another thing. The Charter Review Commission is yet a third thing. Um, I would, I don't know if because of some excellent fallout from the years of. Uh, pre-charter, I do not now use social media. It is not worth it. So I don't follow any of these folks. I can't, I don't look them up. But are you saying that every elected official in like the Washington State Republican Party, 
you well, know, the I same. Don't, I don't know what you're describing is the group. I, I think I was just asking about these are elected officials as well. And they have a group page where the Democratic caucus or the Democrat or the, you know, uh, where the Democratic uh, elected officials to keep people informed about what's going on, you know, and and bills and things that they're talking about, as well as other elected officials have caucuses and and um, pay in which they inform that as well. So I'm just trying to figure out like how it is as an elected official as the charter review, how how it what is the big difference there? I believe I understand your question. What I don't understand are your facts. Who is the Facebook group for these well, elected I, I, officials? Is it like all the Republicans who are members of the Washington State House? Yes, there's House House Democratic Party Facebook page. There's a there there's a House Republican Party Facebook page. There's a House you know Senate um, Party um, Facebook page. They have yeah. I'm just trying to kind of make the distinction between charter of you. I, I understand um, yeah. that. And Chris, so here, here are a couple things. One is that um, the Republican party might have coffers that are a little deeper for the democratic party than what you all have as charter review commissioners as an elected body. The public records that you create, if you're creating public records, have a uh, an extremely long retention period. And one of the things that um, the county's Facebook account has is a connection to something called, shoot, I forget the name of it. Kathleen, the the is it page freezer? Page freezer, thank yep. you. And um, so the county retains what's a county public documents on on its Facebook sites that way. Um, if you all are creating public documents on a private site, you would have to find a way to retain them. Right. Okay, and, and again, I apologize for not being able, not being here uh, timely, but because um, you may have already answered these questions. Um, so, and the three options that were given to us by the communications, um, the county communications was, there was a third option to have that and have somebody from the county as an administrator of that page uh, that would be solely for um, the charter review. And so that was like we had uh, we had one, two, and three options. And uh, the and that third option was that, and that's what I thought we were choosing. And then they said something about about using that public record freeze thing as well. Um, at, at least, I don't know, maybe Chris, you can correct me if I'm wrong on how they would do that if they were uh, made somebody from the county were to be made admin, uh, an administrator on the page. Yeah, the, the crux with that is, is really um, that that's the biggest difference. And it's looking to me too like that's probably the best idea moving forward is to do a county run page. The only okay. um, the only reason that we uh, had decided to go with the the non county one earlier was because I was under the impression and uh, no one had mentioned anything that before with the charter, for example, there was uh, the charter. Yes. And in all the historical documents, they, they pivoted as a group separately from the official charter stuff to be advocates for passing the charter. And I think I, they were a pack. Can I finish please? Um, and then the the only reason to do a non county led one is to allow for that moving forward. And so if we decide that that's not a thing that we can do or want to do as a group here, then there's no point in doing that. It's easy to just go with the county and that sounds great. But just to follow up on that, where, where does that kind of, um, it sounds like you might have an answer, Maureen. 
where does that kind of work? So if, if we collect as private citizens um, to support the amendments that we proposed as commissioners, where, how, how does that happen in alignment with what, what you just outlined with being the challenges? Because, you, you know, you said if we, if, if we gather together, even as private citizens, it sounded like that was potentially a problem. So I'm just, but I would like to understand that. I mentioned a group of say 10 of the 15 commissioners being a group of uh, couching itself as a group of private citizens. And I was feeling a little uneasy about trying to argue to a judge that this was not the county elected charter review commission acting as an elected body of the county and so if it's extremely clear that it's not like that 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 would be you know stated clearly everywhere opportunity while these people were elected in these roles this is not an official act this is not an official body just kind of curious about what you know, I'm not the judge, mm -hmm. yeah. so I don't know how the judge would rule. I mean, the more separate you are from the entire commission as a whole, the better shape you're in. Um, if if you're going to go the private route, and the better shape the county is in honestly, because it means that um, the county has less possibility of being told that the county is liable regardless of any disclaimers, because in fact, we're acting as a public body, even though we said otherwise. And, um, so I don't have the case where that's happened. The most recent case actually is a court of appeals decision that was handed down in January of this year. Um, Arthur West is a serial public records requester from in the state of Washington and he sought uh, Former Councillor Medor's Facebook materials from the county. So the question before the judges in that case, first before the Superior Court judge, and then before the Court of Appeals, was whether the county had liability for it. And in part, I think, because he was only one guy set up this Facebook page himself, um, that was not held to be public records and the conduct of public business, and the county did not, as a public agency, have liability for it. Oh, okay. Thank you. This has all been very, very helpful. Um, so what we have right now is we have the bones of a Facebook page. I submit that let's just get a county admin in there and carry on. And uh, th this whole question of ad advocacy for the thing is not even a thing that we do in this committee, I guess. No. no. Yeah. Um, I think we should talk about it as a committee when everybody's here because uh, it seems I don't know why fighting it is is an issue. It seems like it's a lot easier on everybody to let them do the work. I'm happy to let you guys do the work. <laughs> and you've done a nice job. And I appreciate Mary Lee and Lee and everybody else um, posting everything and being so diligent about it. So why even mess with fire? Just let you guys handle the promotion of it. And if you guys want to do something personal in your own Facebook pages, knock yourself out. But um, Originally, that Facebook page was established and it said it was made up by the people who were the charter commissioners. That puts everybody on the charter commission in a precarious spot 
because as they said, that means that liability would be assumed for OPMA and nobody was asked about that. I wasn't asked about that and I know why we changed it so we could have a conversation when you asked us to just pointing that well, out. I asked you to take it down until we got this answer. So, okay, whatever you want well, to do with it is absolutely, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna interrupt. We're not gonna do that. So what's gonna happen here is everyone's gonna speak once, that's it. You can raise your hand, but we're not gonna get into a big discussion about all this. I think the information is clear. It should have, not have been done have to begin with. I have a couple with. more questions. I have a couple more questions, thanks. We have a hard um, stop Chris, at six o'clock. Chris, um, you, you mentioned, and I just, I just wanna be clear because you're, cause Chris, you, like you said, okay, well then let's just go forward. We have the, we have the bones. And so, um, and I may have missed this in the beginning and I, I apologize again. Um, so are you, are we talking about the adding, adding a county as an admin on that page and um, helping to administer that page? Yeah, I'm all on board with that at this point. Um, it, it, yeah. This is what I'm saying with with that suggestion, with making that change. I just don't appreciate the implication that we were doing anything out of order in creating the page in alignment with what we had discussed and emailed back and forth. So we don't need to have that piece in this conversation, I don't think. But yeah, that was in the communication idea, strategy, so. though. That's what the confusion was. It, so it, if right, we're going to yeah. talk about confusion, then what we need to do is okay, you guys went ahead. I'm speaking. You guys went ahead and yeah, Terry, don't even start. You guys went ahead, started this Facebook page on your own. Next, we are hearing, we are hearing that that is not the best course of action. That's fine. So it's very simple. All we're going to do, I, I don't want to have any part in managing any of that. And if they want to have a county admin do it, I think that's great, or if it can just be attached to the county. But everybody on the committee should get a chance here because I don't think it's right to go ahead and speak for everybody on the commission on a Facebook page. I realize that language has been changed now, but it was only after I started to question it. Yes. Okay. We were anybody in alignment with that option questions? number three that was presented to us is all I'm saying. There's no one trying to cause any trouble here or, or do anything interpersonal to upset anybody else. Just being clear with this was part of the plan as it was discussed. It was exactly in alignment with number three as there's I understand it. And it was yeah, just a template to work off of. So your idea is fantastic. Let's talk about moving to the county at admin page. I fully support it. I'm 100% behind Awesome. Okay, okay, so just to be clear, so we're going with option number three with, uh, with two. Option number two. Oh, Letting okay. the county do it, correct? No, I have the county uh, be included as an admin on a Facebook page that our, our the communication okay. subcommittee runs. Yeah. And if that's any great. commissioners get on there and advocate or take a political position, then that's up to the county to do something about. That's and why so, so the structure it. for doing this kind of thing, um, I'm sorry. Um, the structure for doing this kind of thing is that we have a couple administrators. We don't have even remotely close to enough to have a quorum. We have guidelines and a strategy for posting, and it's really, there's no back and forth. We uh, we can turn off comments altogether and have it be that informational hub. And so yeah. the reason for having it separate from the county's overall page is just so we have that one kind of central thing for it so that they can come in through there. And if, if we make some good guidelines, I think that we'll be able to do a good job with um, with running it. And it's not, nothing would be said um, like putting words in any counts or commissioners' mouths, the purpose is to objectively, not subjectively, or or give any opinion on it, a post about the events that are happening and provide updates on process and progress as all. Well. So, and these yeah. are things we can hash out in in the guidelines for for running such a thing. Can I okay. interject just a little here? Um, I would I would be um, I would appreciate it if you all would connect with Johnny and her office on how to have this happen. Perfect. Yeah. Can Johnny hear me? On the, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, Chris, if, 
Chris or, or Terry, if you can make me an admin on it, and then I will um, get it connected to page freezer. Um, and also, if you can forward your guidelines to me, that would be helpful as well. That's great. Awesome. As, as soon as we do it as a group. Uh, great. I'm sorry, say that again. Sorry. As soon as we talk about it as a group, as, as, as Chair Winningham requests, we'll wait until we do that first, right? Talk about what as a group? The guidelines. Oh, okay. And that we do want okay. to do this. Well, I think the communications team was given the task to do this. I'd rather you, you all, you know, be given that's kind of the assumption is that you all would take the lead on this and move forward and be that communications lead and then share back information. I would hope that we don't have to delay further by bringing this to another commission meeting because we can't do that until after the town halls. Yeah, but we weren't given that. That was part of the communication strategy. So that's what was in the comm strategy that was presented last week was that the county was going to maintain that page. I get that Chris probably made a mistake um, on that. And that means we have to go back to the commission to have them re. Well, actually, it's going to change because it's going to be your guys' Facebook page with the county. But we still need to let everybody in the commission know that. So does anybody have any more questions? Um, I don't. I, I don't think that it changes so much that we have to go back to the entire commission because that's three weeks away. That's, you know, yeah. um, so I don't think that that uh, the, the, the actual whole commission needs to weigh in on it because, you know, it said the county and we are bringing in the county. So I think um, it's simple and we passed update. it. Yeah, you can send a simple update. Um, just saying that there was, you know, confusion between the two communication versions that went out and that the communications team, you know, this is how you're moving forward. And if anybody has um, any issues or whatever, you know, to speak up and we can put it on an agenda in the future. Um, but I think, you know, we've all like just been hopeful that y'all take the lead on this and get it done. Yes, just let the county do it. It's easier. Let them work for it. <laughs> We appreciate you guys doing that. Um, Eric, I see you are on. Do you have any questions? No, not at this time. Okay. Do you have any opinions about the Facebook page at all? Well, I think uh, just having the county uh, be involved so that they're Record keeping on it is the best option for us. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. We are all in alignment. Um, Deanna, are you on the phone or who else is on the phone besides Marilee and Johnny? I didn't know if another commissioner was on. Okay. All righty. Kathleen and Chris, thank you very much for coming and answering those questions. Um, it's great to have clarity. Uh, if you guys want to drop, we totally understand at this point. All right. Have a good night, you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good evening. All right. Thanks, Chris. Okay. So just knowing that uh, we do have a hard stop at six. I did send out this agenda, but one of the things that happened um, since I sent that out was we got the survey monkey. Um, keeping in mind the comm staff is, you know, overworked and um, they have had some attrition. So there's less folks there than normal. Um, so Marilee um, turned that today. So I am up for anybody wanting to adjust this. We need to um, take a look at the survey and get it out as soon as possible because uh, I know the goal was to get it out Saturday. So, um, how do you all feel about going and skipping um, over strategy to going to the final survey questions? That might be all we have time for today, and I know we want to get those out. What do you all think? Good? I thought that we had agreed on those, but I guess I'm, I'm, I'm I want to make sure, I guess do I'm you wrong. remember? Well, I wanted to make sure it was the, um, I wanted to make sure it was that wording that we wanted that um, like Chris was bringing up the other night about um, if we're currently partisan, which we are, then it should say, we want to switch to nonpartisan, not do you want partisan or nonpartisan, right, Chris? 
yeah, kind of be, be, with that level of kind of clarity. Um, yeah. And just, I, I just have one comment for the whole thing. I, th I think it looks pretty good. Um, and it's not something that I would like make a case for, but I, I, I still have a recommendation that at the start and at the end, there's kind of some bookends. Um, it's generally a best practice for any kind of survey to just, we don't have to give necessarily the length of time. Someone mentioned that might not be best, um, but to be like, this survey is this many questions long, there'll be some yes or no, some fill in the blank. And then at the end, just to kind of have the thank you piece and um, how to find more information about the charter would be, just be a recommendation. That's all I had to say about it. Otherwise, I think it's great to see it in this current state. I, I Okay, so let me ask you this then, because I thought that the point was that we, we take the, what the ballot language says and we're making sure to stay consistent. So currently the county council is partisan. Do you want to switch to nonpartisan? Right? Oh yeah, for that particular question, yeah. Sorry, I, okay. I, I was just, I thought we were just talking about the survey in general. Oh yeah, I, well that's what I was hoping. Okay, okay, so let me, <laughs> let me step back. What I'm hoping we can do is all eyes on the survey right now as a team. And if we have any questions, Marilee's, like I said, she's got a, a lot of workload and she'll have to shift priorities and she won't, even if we make the changes tonight, she won't be able to get it changed and back out to us until Wednesday. So time is of the essence on that one. So I want to make sure everyone's cool if we go ahead and go through this with the remaining time. Anybody have any objections? Okay. Because it looks really nice and I want to make sure we get it down. So. Okay. Question uh, about um, the changes that were made. Um, do you, who made the changes on it? Did, did was that were those made when? I didn't change anything, so that's why I want to check. I want to make sure okay. this, this is the way it's supposed to be. Okay. Because I think what we here's what I did. I submitted the PowerPoint that you guys created with Deanna, and I just put that in. So I already kind of gave Mary Lee forewarning that. Well, we might have some draft changes because then we got into the big discussion on Wednesday night. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to make sure it's the language that everybody's comfortable with and then we can rock and roll. Okay, let me share this. I have to close this one first. So does anybody have that up right now? I have it up, but I'm I'm on two different devices. Okay. Um, the, would, has would everybody like already it? reviewed it? I think we can go through it pretty quickly. The only I only see a couple things that are a little bit different and Okay. I had to close that thing out first before I could share this. Oh, come on. There it is. Okay. Can everybody see it? Okay. And I and I don't have the um the gray PowerPoint up, but here's the verbiage. And I know they did take out the timing, but other than that, that's the verbiage that was on there. Questions, concerns, everybody good with that? I'm fine. All right. So this is how it actually looks, which I think is lovely. Okay, partisan, nonpartisan counselors. This is the one I was curious about. So do you think the position of county counselors should be should continue to be partisan or should it be non nonpartisan? Um I would change the order so that the context comes before the question. And I'd have a, a give it a good once over more for typos. There's a there's one or two in there. Uh, political party preference. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the wording is, is I think, I caught okay. that one and just fixed it. Oh, is that Johnny or Mary Lee? <laughs> Spotted it already. It's yeah. Mary Lee. I've got Look it how on fast screen you are. so I can edit it as you go, and that way, whatever you say you want fixed, it will be done at the end of this meeting. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much. Okay, thank cool. You. So they're going to so change what that was the what was the other typo? Is there another typo in that question? I, I think that was the only one. Yeah. Okay. 
And that's the way you want it to read partisan or nonpartisan. Cause I thought when in the meeting, we said we were just gonna keep it really simple. Currently the County Council is partisan. Do you want to change to nonpartisan? Am I misremembering? I, um, I, think, I think you might be a little bit. Uh, I'm looking at the, uh, the survey that we had had put together and sent in, and then this is in alignment with that. Okay. It's just, the, yeah, the only real difference is, is the questions before the context and. Okay. Either way, so you just want to shift yeah, that? That, that would you be just want to shift that above. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense because it, it's it's more of a storytelling. Okay. Um, we do not have this field as mandatory, correct, Marilee? This is just open. If they want to give their all thoughts. of these are open for them. All these are open for them to answer or not answer. They can skip questions as they choose. Brilliant. Okay. Here's the next one. Other electeds, do youth, obviously, to keep in form, we'll move this ahead, correct? And then the question is, do you think the positions of county assessor no, 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 should continue to be partisan? So the question really is, do you think the positions of county assessor, auditor, clerk, blah, should be nonpartisan? Correct? Well, I mean, you can say it that way, or this is, this is, says the same thing so i don't have a super problem with it well we, yeah i'm just saying because we changed this one just now so to be consistent yeah. oh i didn't change the previous one did you want the previous one changed yeah i think what we said was we want to just say do you think the county counselors should be non-partisan do you think the county counselor positions should be non-partisan that way it's a yes or no and that's what i thought that you guys said on the ballot is the Way to go, correct? No, I think we said no. partisan or nonpartisan, and we gave them a choice. Yeah, it, 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 because it's a binary choice of, of two different kind of like things rather than a yes or no, uh, we don't want to give the impression of emphasizing one or the other. And because we have the text box for the uh, the explanation, um, they can uh -huh. say, I prefer this one for these reasons. Um, I mean, it, it's a small difference. But uh, just in, in, in like surveying, it's a little bit more, um, a little bit less potentially biased, I think. And it's clear. not that this is a scientific survey, but. Um, yeah. I'm indifferent. I just want to make sure whatever we do are consistent. So yeah. anybody have any opinions about that? Th this tracks with what we had before. Okay. All right. Okay, so it should still continue to say, just so I make sure that I've, I've reflected it correctly. Do you think the position of county council should continue to be Partisan or should it be nonpartisan? That remains the same then. Yep, sounds like yep. it. Or, Did I hear okay. correctly, everybody? Yep. All right. Then we go to redistricting. Again, I imagine same thing. We're going to put the exclamation ex explanation for what it is above, and then ask, "Do you think the commission should keep four districts, or should it increase to five? Was this I'm going to raise my hand on that. I am going to highly not recommend doing that. Talk, uh, this, tell us, this please. Survey gives, survey monkey gives me a grade on how you have the survey done at the end of when I finish it. This survey monkey is recommending that these texts be changed to 50 words or less and that you currently will receive only a 67% return on people answering these questions. Nice. That's good to know. I didn't know so the now. reason why I have put the question first and capitalized the redistricting, you know, the, the heading, I've capitalized the heading and done the question is because what people will generally do, they're not going to read the explanation. They're going to look at this first part. They're going to go down and click a box, especially if they're on their phone when they're responding to this. Cool. They will okay scroll past your ex Okay, I'm okay with that. Thank you for that. Anthony, er I'm sorry, I mean, Eric. <laughs> yes. I'm here. Do you have, uh, do you have an opinion? Um. No, I think uh, I think the question should come first. I agree that they're going to skip over if we make it too uh, arduous or challenging to go through it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marilee, do you feel like you got that one clear? 
Yep, got that one. Okay, cool. Thank Sometimes you. we talk so much, Thank I wonder you. if we're <laughs> we're muddying the waters. Okay. Uh, length of time I just between want to try Thank you very much. I, I didn't know SurveyMonkey did that kind of evaluation now, so that's really nice information. Um, okay. Should the length of time until the next review of the Clark County Charter remain as 10 oh boy, or be changed to five years? I th I'm going to suggest on this one because it's kind of clunky. Should the length of charter review go from five to 10 years or from 10 to five years? Sorry. I think Less you can do it even further, um, so especially since we have the context there. Um, I'd be okay with just saying, should the length of time until the next review of Clark County's charter be changed to five years? Because then they have the context if they want to see the 10, yeah. and the choice is still 10 or five. So running with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm good with that. Anybody else? I'm good with it. That sounds good. The only comment that I'd make is, um, Oh, it does say 10 years um, and the and the remaining text. Um, yes. The. I would suggest that it not be changed, but that it say shortened. Um, Great. To, to clarify that it is going to be a shorter period of time rather than just mm -hmm. a change. Oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. So should the length of time until the next review of Clark County's charter be shortened from 10 to five years. That sounds good. I actually like the way it's written, but That's clear. I'm not gonna, yeah. Marilee, what is that? What's SurveyMonkey tell us behind door three? <laughs> it's not, it's, it doesn't suggest verbiage. That's, okay. up, to, that's up to the person. Okay. What I really want to know really like to know is what Wayne Gretzky thinks. He always says, "You skate to the puck where the puck's gonna be, not where it is." Okay. Are you guys cool with me moving on to the next one? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. This is a bit of a chunk. Okay. So, so this is the one that changed um, Aha. from what. This is the one that changed from what we had presented. So, and I had a conversation with Dorothy about this around when I was putting the survey monkey questions together. Uh -huh. And um, I go, in the survey, do you want options? And um, as the chair of that committee, she's going, no, I just want to, to ask uh, people if they mm -hmm. support an ethics code with an end with an ethics oversight compliance office and an independent ethics commission. And that was just a yes or no. Why or why not? And she specifically said, you know, you really can't have 1 without the other. And I just want to know if people are interested in the ethics code and and that. So, giving the options that was added and not in the original survey. So that's. That came from the ethics direct direct from the ethics uh, committee uh, chair. Question: um, Does anybody have the uh, the final the um, the drafting committee's final write up? The drafting committee, helpful? I have it, and it and it doesn't. The drafting committee doesn't have options either. It just has this is what the commission this is what a commission would do. This is what the ethics would do, and. Um, I specifically uh, made that phone call to her and talked to her and uh, Eric, I think you were involved. Um, we kind of invited you to um, that weigh in on that as well on what she wanted in a survey question around an ethics code for the for the county. So, um, I don't know. Um, how this got like broken down like that. Um, so. I think we should, I think we put the original questions. Uh, Chris, do you have the original survey questions in front of you that we put together? Yeah, I'm looking at I it believe now. It does uh, just say, do you think Clark County should add? Yeah. It, uh, not, not in the survey. Um, this is close to what we gave uh, at the time. Uh, because it was, let me look do you at think it. Clark County should add an ethics code, yes or no, an independent ethics commission, yes or no, an ethics oversight and compliance office, yes or no, and then the text box. 
Yeah, I see okay. it now. Yeah. Okay, well then that was changed then um, from what I originally um, presented. So I'd have to look at the original survey. So all I'm telling you is it's different from what uh, the ethics committee wanted. Okay, so how do you specifically want it to, do you want to type it in chat or do you want to just dictate it to Mary Lee? Um, let me see if I can pull it up. Do you have the original survey questions when we were working on them, Chris? Uh, that, that's what, what I think I'm looking, oh. This is, is the great one. Version. I think this was adapted after the input from Dorothy and them on the ethics commission, which is why it this might be different. Just, so I, I'm, I'm not really exactly sure second. what the, yeah. Do you know what the I mean, date is of the most recent? Because this one says June second. I've got June. Maybe 3rd. there's some more. Aha. Right. Okay. Um, okay. So and it gave choices. Thursday. Because that yeah. Was okay. So are you are you also seeing that? I mean, this was my amendment. It wasn't anybody else's amendment, but mine. But from my experience with surveys, I added a not sure and a no opinion mm -hmm. box, so that. If they don't have any opinion on this at all, or if they're not sure, then you're also going to see that they don't really understand what it is and they don't, or they don't care. Um, and that they have those two options as well as just yes or no. Um, so that they don't just skip the question if yeah. they don't have an opinion. Well, you know, if we're going to do it for this one, I think we should do it for all of them. Of the yes, no on all of them. Well, uh, having the not sure or no opinion option for the same reasons. I got to be honest. I think that's going to muddy the waters. That that'll end up getting confusing. We'll just skip what they don't want to do then, right? I'm just thinking because if I had, a, it just looks a little visually overwhelming, you know. I mean, I just want to make it as simple for them to get through it as possible. You know what I mean? And from what. Unless I'm mishearing you, Terry, from what Dorothy said, she wants it to be one question. Am I yeah. on? She wants yeah. it to be one thing, not like boom, boom, boom. Right. That would be simple. Like, and they can always type in. She's like, do you support a ethics code with an independent um, ethics oversight and compliance office and independent ethics commission? That was my, okay, I'm looking at. I, uh, okay, I found it. Let me find it. I am fine with rolling it into one question. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if we leave it like this and then change it into one question, whether it changes the responses because it'll be more simple. But anyway, what, what was it supposed yeah, to say, Terry? I think it is, well, you know, I'm looking at the, uh, the PowerPoint, I guess the PowerPoint that um, you put together, Chris, around it. and it doesn't say that. And so I'm like trying to find an earlier version. Hold on. Well, I, I, I don't think we really need to spend too much time playing detective. Um, I know. If, if we know what, what, yeah. If we know what the intent was from the ethics um, subcommittee, at least we could adjust it here in live, maybe. Yeah, and you know, if, and if and if if that changes, the, you know, we can always change this the survey. It's not like you know this is going to be, you know, yeah. And I think that Maureen said that that this is kind of living, and and as we get more information, we can change these survey questions. So if you leave it like that, I'm okay with it. No, nope, you won't. Then, you can't. You can't change them. You can't change them. It will screw oh, everything yeah. up. Yep. You can't change them like in midstream. No, not in nope, midstream. You later when we have, you know, other surveys going out and those kind of things. Yes. Um, absolutely. That. That. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what I got from you is that, and what I heard, just in case I didn't hear it correctly, is that we wipe out all of the long text that's on here. And then the question is, do you support the drafting of an ethics code with an independent ethics commission as elements to promote trust in local government? Yes or no? Um, I'm typing it here on the screen so we can all say it, see it. Do you support the drafting of an ethics code with an ethics commission? It would be with an, with an independent. independent yeah, it, it would be with an independent 
Commission, Ethics and Oversight and Compliance Office. Ethics. Okay, say it again. I'm sorry. So do you support... ethics? Yeah, do you support the drafting of an ethics code with an independent ethics commission and ethics oversight and compliance office to foster trust in local governments in governance? Yes or no? And then text box. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does everybody see it? Does that make sense? That's so then we'll take all oh. these things out and we'll just have this. Correct? I think we mentioned the foster trust and local governance in the in the description. So we can simplify it yeah. a little bit further even. Yep, you're right. Do you? How about if we just cut it totally and just do No, I, I think that um the the ethics committee um wanted that explanation there the first part about the proper operation of government blah 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 just to kind of give a little bit of an explanation to well, about what ethics uh what an ethics code is yeah we'd still keep the explanation just change the question to make it simpler okay perfect okay so this stays here and then this is the question yes perfect okay Speak Thank now you. or forever hold your peace. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. I know you're sad. This is the last one. Diversity, equity, and inclusion with the intended outcome of increasing accountability and public trust in Clark County's operations and services. The commission is considering a proposal for the creation of. Okay. Oh. Who is from DEI here? Uh, I am and Kim is, um, and I think this I will am. benefit just from the simplicity of still having, so instead of a binary choice, it's just a trinary choice. Uh, just like the initial first few of partisan or nonpartisan, this is board or uh, office or both. I, in, unless you have another amazing explanation, Marley, um, I don't think we need, need the fourth and fifth options. I think they make it more confusing. So kill these. Yeah. And if they have a different option, that, that's why we had space for if you have other thoughts, please share them. I agree with that. And I hope we do. Is it an advisory board, you guys, or is it a DEI commission? Uh, either. Uh, it was not defined. It could be either. And, and this is part of the uh, the specific specific things that would be, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, Kim, uh, would be addressed as we have feedback from the community before the next iteration. Okay. Do you think it matters if we have advisory board on there or do you think it would just be cleaner to take advisory board off and call it a commission? I think it would be less accurate to do that. And I, 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 would I, feel a bit I agree. It. I think that the commission is, um, I mean, it, it, having advisory kind of gives them a little bit of a definition. Yeah, I would agree with that. Keeping the advisory because not everyone, not the everyday Joe necessarily knows what a commission is comprised of. So advisory is a little bit more descriptive. Okay. Speak now or forever hold your peace. So we're just saying take these two out and leave everything else, correct? Yeah. All right. How are you doing, Mary Lee? Have we made you want to go have your after work beverage yet? <laughs> okay, so you do not want the option of both a position or office and the advisory board or commission. You don't want the option of both, of somebody to be able to choose both. We want one or the other or both and scratch a different option and scratch none of the above. Yeah, it looks okay. like the ones I have highlighted we want to kill. That's it, right? Right. I can't okay. see anything because I'm dialing in. So I can't oh, see I'm sorry. Oh. I've had this all highlighted <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you can see everything I'm doing. What the heck? That's why I was typing it out for you. <laughs> okay, so we're just killing the last two options. A different option 
or none of the above. So we'll have three answers. Okay. Okay. All right. Any other questions, comments, anything else? Yeah, just checking again out with Mary Lee and your experience with this. Um, and, and maybe my own training does not apply to this type of survey, but having the introduction and the outro um, kind of pieces, is there a particular reason to not include those, do you think? To the entire thing, not just an individual question. Of, just, kind of, like, of not including the, the rest of the stuff that's on there and just putting the question? No, there, there was a preamble slide and there was a closing slide that were part of the survey uh, slide deck. And I wasn't sure if there was a particular reason to leave those out or if they just weren't showing up. The closing is, is on there, but it doesn't show up on okay. the on the PDF. So okay. everything that was on the closing slide, when they click done, then it's going to pop up. Thank you for taking our survey and all of that information Wonderful. is there okay. with the link with the links to your pages they'll want to know that it was received and, and, a, and a little clue of what we're going to do with it i think so that, that's wonderful okay i'm going to click on done so everyone can see that to that moment okay okay so okay. that just says Marilee's changing it right now working hard <laughs> thank you for participating all right I didn't see the message, but I imagine it's because you're currently editing it live. Yes, I am editing it live. So give me just one second. No worries. It all sounds good to me. You wanted, I had deleted the text on the ethics oversight and you want that put back in. So I have to type it back in. Check the typos here. Okay, it is all saved. So now you should be able to hit preview and be able to see the final, the final thing. Um, the only other comment that I that I will make is normally whenever I do surveys for people, um, I would have spent like a couple of probably a couple of weeks with with you all on this why or why not box. Um, I strongly discourage why and why not boxes, um, oh. and the reason why um, the reason why I do have a reason. Um, the reason why is I did a lot of the surveys for a while community planning was doing the comp plan mm -hmm. and someone's going to have to read all of those and quantify them and I do not have the bandwidth to do that so um, you may only get 200 responses or 150 responses but if this blows up like the fireworks um, survey and you get 7,000 responses um, there's going to be some administrative work to be able to quantify the responses. Yeah, that's um, one thing um, I've, I've thought about uh, working on the drafting of this and, and in processing is we just don't have the scope and it's not that kind of survey that we can do a proper qualitative analysis. Um, the content in those text boxes, actually, are those limited lengthwise, by the way, would be a good question to ask, um, is intended to be, this is just input. Um, that would be presented to the commissioners, and we could do. I, 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 I'm willing to take on um, if there is a need to do some kind of a summary, and there are such huge numbers that that changes the game a little bit. But That's I, a great problem be, to have. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an awesome <laughs> problem to have that we have like seven thousand. Um, it will give me, um, I can do a report that is in a um, Excel spreadsheet form that's just going to have, it's just going to be just a dump of the comments. So you'll, you can, 
I can get those pulled out and give those to you. Um, but as far as sorting them in any manner, um, I'm not going to have time to do that. Is, is there no way to auto sort just by question? Oh, it'll sort by it'll sort by question. Okay, that, that um, there won't be teams. But, so, like, if we see if you want to go through or do it as partners or a group or whatever, you could go through and put a different theme for every single thing. Because I think in general, what we're hoping to do is compile all the surveys and everything from the town hall into just um, one big presentation right. that we make to the commission on the twenty third. I think that's right, 23rd. Um, so we can see themes. So if everyone's saying no DEI office, no, 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 well, then we know it's a theme, but and we can see the comments. The we only can actually one, attach them. Mm -hmm. The only other one that may be um, potentially problematic is I can see some people feeling that they want some of these elected offices to remain partisan, but some of them not. And so, if that winds up in a comment box, that's going to be a little bit time consuming to separate that out. I think it's likely that one would be be separated out in its own category, even if it's different combinations of people wanting other options. But we could talk about how to manage that, I think, moving forward, right? Yep. Okay. And then the last question I had is, um, did you want it? Did you want a question that has any demographics in this, such as a zip code, so that you know what area the answers are coming from? What a great question! It sounds like a great idea to me. The more information that, what a great question! Um, could we actually put an optional so they could put in their name and email address too? Yes, if they wanted. They can put it in there if they want, and then you can have an email address list from that you gather from the survey um, that someone can compile, and you have an interested party list to send things out to. I think maybe just give us the big thumb. That's good. Huh? I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, I would say maybe op optional and at the end. Yes, it would be optional, and it would be at at the very end, mm -hmm. or actually. Trying to remember if, if I had a better result from putting it at the start. Um, We're all like, I think no, sometimes I have a better. Better. No, I, I like think that I, idea. I was, I okay, so I'll, that I'll we gather, would have email addresses. I'll just pull the zip codes um, from one of my previous surveys that I that I've done. Um, and I'll put that at the end, and then I'll put if you know if you choose that you want to have email, you can fill in your your name and email address, and we'll add you to a contact list. Okay, one work? last question that Terry just made me think of: Do we need to say this is anonymous? Will that increase participation? If we're asking for information, we probably should. So we should make a statement that this is anonymous. I think it's a good idea. What does it's everybody think? Technically not, because I have their IP address when they respond. Confidential. Oh. Um, I'm going to go by what you say, Marilee. You're the expert there. I, I think what I put before is you you don't have to, you know, your responses are are not tied to your name, but if you would like to add your name and um, contact information so we can add you to a mailing list. You can add it here, otherwise skip to the end. I'll, I'll have to look and see what I did on the previous one. I, I got a really good response on the previous one. Um, I can send um, you, um, I can send what I did before to one of you that, that can then just distribute to all of you and then you could respond by email. So I, since we're on the clock right now. I kind of like to have that request at the end. Are you saying you did it at, in the beginning before? Only because it's like, oh, you know, people going, oh, I'm not going to give them my name. And then they just don't even bother doing the survey. Um, after somebody does a whole right. survey, they might be a little bit more inclined to go. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Here. That's a good point. So at the end of it. 
I'm looking at this one. Give me one second. Okay, the last one that I did the zip codes on, I didn't. I, yeah, I did it at the very last, and I, it was a drop down of what is the zip code of your residence, and then I entered all of the zip codes in there. So they just have to click on it, and then it is not required, but you may enter your email if you would like to be added to a list for meeting notifications um, regarding Charter Review Committee. Perfect. That's a great suggestion. Thank you. Okay. That'll also I'll, help us I'll tailor our message it. by district. Okay. Yeah, the, the zip code lines aren't necessarily completely by district, but it also kind of lets you know. Mm -hmm. um, for my purposes, one of the things that it was um, productive for was um, just knowing where people were getting reached. Mm. You know, if if I had 700 responses and 500 of them were all downtown, then I'm not doing a good job getting up to the rural corners. And I know you guys didn't get to see the email because it, it all just came through um, right before we met, but she did invent a QR code too. So one of the things we can talk about on Thursday is if we wanna have anything printed to hand out, because I know Terry was talking a lot about farmer's markets and stuff like that or just a sign that has the QR code. Um, so anyway, we can we can take a look at that on um, Thursday. Anybody have any other questions for Mary Lee or Johnny? Oh, I was just looking for that email. I didn't get an email with the, the No, QR I just code. got it before this meeting and that's why I forwarded on the PDF. Oh, the QR okay. code, Mary I wasn't Lee? sure if it would change if we have to adjust the survey. I wasn't sure if it generates a new QR code. Okay. Um, that would be yeah, for us. okay, so uh, it, as requested before, we have such a small committee that we don't have to worry about being like, you know, creating a quorum or anything like that. So sending out information to like all everybody on the communication committee makes it where we don't have to rely on, on report backs and this, these kind of things. And it just make, keeps us more informed. And that was something that I believe that we were going to talk about tonight. But if you could do that as well, just include all the questioners on the committee in. Your communications. I'm sure or as long as I know who they are, I don't have that list. Oh, okay. So as long as I have that list, I have I'll send it that. to you and I'll CC everybody on it. Thanks, Mary Lee. Okay. Thank you. Okay, right. thanks. You guys have a good evening. Thank you very much Thank for you. staying over. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Okay. So um on Thursday, we can kind of go back, but I think the sooner we get this out, the better, obviously. Um, and Thursday, why don't we talk about A, how we're going to distribute it? Because Terry had an awesome idea last time about using that list Dorothy started and using um asking um asking like oh geez, I'm I'm starting to have a brain fart. Um the people who are in the different community groups to please distribute it to whatever their group is, like NAC or um you had a bunch of them. You had a bunch of ideas that Dorothy was putting together. I do. Um, yeah, and I, I think that we need to uh, actually maybe just do a draft and I'd be willing to work on it. I have time. I'm in between nursing um, assignments at the moment, putting a draft together for other commissioners to reach out to their things and just saying, this is, you know, can you send out this draft? Here's a link to the survey in it. Here's the link to all of the, um, to all of our town halls. I know that I have been doing it with my groups just to keep them informed. So I have been, you know, with my community and with my group and people that, you know, reach out to me about it. And because we are way behind in in that and we should take advantage of, uh, you know, the commissioners um, out and let them do their outreach. And so I'd be happy to work on that and then send it around an email and see what everybody thinks about, about that email just a draft to go out as soon as possible. Um, so. I think that's a great idea. And we should put your QR code on that email too, because then all people have to do is hold their phone up, take the survey. Right, exactly. So um, as soon as you can get that to me, I'll get that as well. And I'll 
put the links to the survey and everything else in an, in an email and and send out the draft for everybody to use. Um, so, all right, perfect. Well, what I'll do now is I will go ahead and send to Mary Lee our, all of our names. I will put everybody on the committee and then she'll have everybody's name so she can send it back uh, quickly. All right, guys, I know we're over way over. So um, I will see you guys Wednesday night and Thursday night. Quick uh, tasking question, Maureen. Um, I, I, right before the meeting, I, I sent out the communication strategy as it should have been before it was all bungled up. And uh, so now I, I think we've agreed to shift to that option too with the county. Would you like a new iteration that's changed back to having the county running, uh, administrating the Facebook page? I think that would be good for clarity so we can post it on our website. Yeah, I'll Eric's, Eric's giving us the thumb too. <laughs> Eric, um, you and your big thumb. <laughs> I think that's, think that's good. Uh, and I really appreciate that. And then on Thursday, I'm hoping that we will have an opportunity to go through that strategy. We never have, you know, and really kind of be more clear and everything. Cause you know, I'm not really even clear about, about some of it. So, um, I think I that, agree. that we, need to, get done. Done. we need to get that done and we yep. need to kind of get a communication policy set to put together for this team. And um, that's probably going to so. be 1 of those things we'll have to divide and conquer since there's going to be a lot like. How you get onto the speakers bureau, how you the, what you have to run through to do a presentation to a community group, all those kinds of things. None of that's done. Um, so, all right, guys. What thank I just you want to much. avoid is people having people ask me about things that are going on in the communications committee, and I have no idea. It's like, oh, sorry. So I do want to come up with a, a better way for us to communicate as a committee, so we are getting uh, information out to people and. Awesome. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.